Hello and welcome to another video. This is Orman Beckles, aka The High Tech Nomad. And today in this video, I want to talk about Momentum, which I think is a really great productivity tool. Now, I'm starting to put together a whole bunch of these tools and I was going to do it as one big video, but it makes it difficult to find. So I'm going to do them in small videos like this. So please hit the like button, please hit the subscribe button so that you get all the videos. So what is Momentum? Well, as you can see, uh, this is the way that my Google Chrome browser loads up, and I use a Chromebook 90% of the time. So when I open it up, this is what I'm faced with, and it's okay, but it's not really all that helpful. So we're going to go ahead and add Momentum, and then we're going to take a look and see what the difference is. So to add Momentum, all you have to do is go to the Chrome Web Store and search for Momentum, and click on Add to Chrome. You go ahead and click on add to extensions. It does its thing and bada bum, bada bing, betty boop. It goes ahead and it does it. Now it's asking me if we want to keep our, cha our changes. That's because I've loaded it on before. I just unloaded it just so I could show you how easy it was to load. So we'll just turn that off for right now. So it asks me my name. I'm going to go ahead and put my name in and it says, hi, how are you? What is your email address? And I go ahead and I give it that. And then it asks me for my password. And that's because I already have a Momentum account. And Bob's your uncle, there we are. So it's all set, it's ready to go. As you can see, it says, good afternoon, Orman. And as you can see, it already starts to show me what I'm supposed to be doing today, which is finishing this productivity video. And so now every time I open up my Chromebook or open up the Google Chrome browser, this is the screen that I'm going to see instead of that other screen. So the first thing we have is uh, a world clock, which is fantastic because I do work with people all around the world. And for example, I know that it's not too late to call my friend in Italy uh, because I know that she's normally up until nine o'clock at night. So this is super helpful. The next one here is a little embarrassing, but this is why we want to have it here. And that is steps today but it actually is pulling from fitbit and it will show me the number of steps now i actually have taken some steps today but not a whole lot and this is really good to sort of remind me hey you know it's three o'clock in the or one o'clock in the afternoon you've only you've taken less than a thousand steps uh come on why don't you go outside and take a walk for lunch so this is really very helpful the next one is these countdown timers and they can be you know something that's happening next week or next month or next year and you can decide whether you want to see it whether it's pinned on the screen or it's something that you you want to be aware of but you don't necessarily need to see it so for example it might be uh let's see mix birthday and if i say pin to dash it will go ahead and add it to the dash so i know exactly how many days it is the next thing we have is weather and you can choose whether it's the ha 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 love the pun we can choose whether to display the current temperature in our city or in some other city and i've actually found that very helpful when i was getting ready to plan for berlin i wanted to see what was going on that day so we have all of those pieces so all that's right up top there very easy to take a look at we have our time obviously right in the middle of our screen along with either a uh, greeting or a mantra or a quote and you, I'll show you in a minute where you can edit those mantras or quotes. And it seemed to me at first to be just something a little frivolous. However, it is kind of good sometimes when I'm having a bad day and it pops up something and, and it makes me laugh or makes me think of something. And that's, um, that is so, that is very helpful. So let's come down to, we have notes and to do. Now the notes is super, super cool. It allows us to take notes on the fly. So if I'm talking to somebody on the phone and I need to take a note or I'm looking at something on the screen, I can just click on notes. I can click on the add button. I can add that, add whatever the note is. And the other really, really cool thing about this is that these notes are synchronized across your different platforms through the cloud. So for example, if I take a note in the office and then I go home and sit in front of my other Chromebook, I'll actually see the same notes. You can even make this full screen if you want to do it that way, and you can edit them and do all sorts of neat things. So I really like this notes feature. The next one is to-do, and it actually pulls your to-dos from a number of different programs here, and these are all of the to-do programs that they currently support. 
One of the other great things I like about this is that Todoist integrates with my Amazon Echo. I have an Amazon Echo on my bedside table. I have one on my office table. I even have one in my car. If you want to see about that, I'll put a link to a video up above to how to get your Amazon Echo in the car. In any event, what that allows me to do is say things as I'm driving. So for example, add buy a camel to my to-do list. So it's now added that to my to-do list and I can go down and see it by simply clicking on to-do and then you see it's right there. So that again is super productive. So as I'm driving, as my mind starts to clear and I think of things that I want to do, I can just shout them out and I know that they'll be added to my to-do list. The other good thing about this is that again, when I get to a computer and I open up a browser, it's going to start showing me those items on my to-do list that I have designated for today. And if I go ahead and click this off, it says great work. It takes it off my to-do list, but you'll see it just brought up the next item on my to-do list. So I can do all of this without leaving this one main screen. So this is a great place to start in the morning where I can just sort of maybe get a couple of things out of the way, add a couple of things and go from there. Let's take a look at some of the other settings. Uh, for example, photos. I can either use the photos that they've curated and picked for me, or I can upload my own. Change your own quotes. You can change how the links button looks or the menu bar, the bookmarks bar. So for example, currently I don't have the bookmarks bar on. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that on. I'm gonna allow it to do that. And so you can see not only do I have my bookmarks bar, but I can customize it. So in this case, I have icons only instead of the words, because normally your menu, your bookmarks bar would look like this. But by doing this, I recognize most of those icons. And so I can actually get three times as many items. Last little feature I wanna show you is called balance, which I think is really nice. You set what your work time is. So in this case, I have nine to five on weekdays. At 5.01, when I'm done for the day, I can opt to have certain things turned off. So for example, I could say, look, uh, at 5.01, I, I don't need to see the clock anymore. I'm relaxed now. I don't need to see my to-do list items. I don't want to see my notes. I just want to relax and because I'm going to you know, be on YouTube or whatever it is. And that's a really nice feature. So five o'clock comes, all this stuff turns off, and now it gives me a chance to just kind of relax and play some games. So check out Momentum, it's free to try. Uh, it gives you a good sampling. I showed you, I actually obviously have the plus version, so I went and got all those things. What I did is I tried the free version, found out I really liked it, and I said, well, let me do monthly, and I did monthly for one month, and at the end of that, I was like, oh, this is fine. I know I'm gonna use this for the rest of the year, and I went ahead and just did the annual. So that's it for Momentum. Please hit the like button, please hit the subscribe button as I'm gonna be doing more productivity videos and also help us get to 10,000. That is just such a, that's a big milestone for me and I really wanna get there as soon as possible. Until the next time, this is Orman Beckles, the high-tech nomad signing out.